What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy OJ from the AO Life. And in today's video, I'm pretty excited because I'll be showing you how to put together or assemble the Storkcraft Pacific 4-in-1 Convertible Crib. Yeah, that's right. I just said crib. start outside because we have some renovations going on and I'm saving that for another video but this is the room I'll be assembling the crib in and here it is the Storkcraft Pacific 4-in-1 convertible crib along with the mattress I guess Ashley bought to go with it so I'm gonna get this all unpacked and we will start assembling okay so this is everything that came inside the box basically the crib the spring the instructions of course and the hardware kit with all the screws and tools I should need to put this together so I'm going to set this camera up on a tripod and we're going to begin assembly. So I tried to take everything out and align it next to the pieces they would be connecting to and I figured that would just make the entire process a little easier and it actually did. I mean the directions were pretty clear and straightforward and with all the screws being labeled I felt like I could definitely handle putting this crib together. So I started with one end and it was simple enough, a couple screws at the top and bottom to hold the sides in place and that was that. So knowing the other end was pretty much the exact same, it wasn't difficult to just repeat that process again. I mean I've put some basic furniture together before for a house so I'm not totally in the blind but at the same time I'm like this is a crib and I wanted to make sure I did everything right obviously for the safety reasons. So after the ends were completed and I started connecting the sides to it. That's kind of when it started to hit me. Like, I'm building an actual crib in our home that my son is gonna be sleeping in. Like, I know Ashley's been fully pregnant, but I don't know, it just started to all hit me that soon there's gonna be a little dude sharing our house with us. I mean, for the last 10 years or so, it's just been me and her. I mean, we've had Bentley, of course, our dog, but we've been on this life journey together for a while now, and I really thought we were starting to get in a good groove. Now I know we've always talked about having a family one day, of course, but it's actually like happening now, you know? It's pretty awesome to think about. And building this crib kind of for me, it helped make it even more real because to be honest, I don't enjoy putting things together like furniture and hanging light fixtures and pictures that she finds when she's out shopping, even though I do for the most part like the final outcome of it. But this was just a totally different experience for me. I mean, I don't know how to explain exactly, but it was something that I really got into and wanted to do a good job at it and definitely couldn't wait to be finished so I could see her reaction when she saw the crib in the baby room all put together. So after I connected the one side to each of the ends, I thought it was pretty much repeating those steps again to attach the front side as well. But the front side was a little different in that it had an extra bar that ran across the bottom that you had to attach first. I'm assuming this was for support because this crib can change designs as our sun grows. After I got that support bar connected, it was time to attach the spring base. That's when I chimed in here when I realized there were different levels as to which you could connect the spring to. Okay, so we got the sides up in the frame, but I just wanted to come and show you this part. So this crib moves in multiple stages. So because it's a newborn, you want to make sure that you're going to use the highest mounting points. I'm not sure if you can see that, but you'll see when I'm finished. That way the mattress is at its highest level and I guess you slowly move it down as they grow. So I just wanted to show you that part that I'm putting the mattress on the top screw. Attaching the spring base wasn't too hard either. It was just a matter of getting it level and making sure I was using the same hole so the bed would sit evenly. At this point, I was really getting excited because I had pretty much put this thing together without any issues so far, and I could tell I was going to also like the design of this crib. It had that modern feel to it that me and Ashley both like, so I was ready to get it done so I could show off my work, you know? I mean, I know it's just a simple crib, but for the first piece in our new baby's room, I felt pretty proud. So once the spring was on and it felt tight, it was time to finish this thing up and attach the front side. The front side was basically like the back side, except it sit right above that support bar I was talking about. And it also had a little notch in the middle of it that allowed it to rest securely attached to that support bar as well. All right guys, so I put the mattress in. It's all put together. Actually wasn't too difficult. Um, 
course I'll go and tighten everything back up to make sure it's secure, but I think we have ourselves a crib. It's time to go and get Ashley and see what she thinks about it. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> no, it's exactly what I wanted. Good. I wanted straight, clean lines. Mm -hmm. Like to match the rest of the house. Okay. It's perfect. Cool. I didn't tell him about the mattress, so oh, you can maybe mention okay. that. The um the mattress and the crib we got from Overstock. Mm -hmm. The mattress is like a dual sided mattress. It's called I think the Milliard mattress. Yeah. And it's got a firm side for when the baby's newborn, and then a softer side for when he grows up. Yeah, so it had a lot of good reviews. I love it. Yeah. You see the little paper it came with? What does it say? <laughs> oh, it says, Welcome to the family. Yeah. That's so cute. Yeah. So the first item in the room <sighs> it's real. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, right. So I'll be able to decorate around this. This is I wanted to get this first to kind of see what it would look like. Mm -hmm. And so I'll be able to decorate and get the color scheme going, which we'll show you guys as soon as we get it all together. Mm -hmm. But this is perfect. Okay. Thank you. Good job, Dad. <laughs> so that was the crib. And uh, I'm actually out here editing the video that you're watching right now. But I just want to pop in and say I appreciate everybody that's watching. We have a ton of more videos planned. Uh, I'll probably have a lot more projects that I'm going to be doing, so I plan on capturing all of that. Um, I'm definitely excited to show you guys the renovations that we've done in the house. So that's a video coming out soon, and I just appreciate everybody that's keeping up with what we have going on in our lives. So it's a new chapter for us. I'm really excited, and I'll catch you in the next video.